This video will cover the basics of RFIs and how to improve your chances of receiving an appropriate response. In most construction documents, it's inevitable that the agreement drawings and specifications will adequately address every single matter. There may be gaps, conflicts, so the goal of the request for information is to act as a partner tool to resolve these gaps, conflicts during the bidding process or early in the construction process to eliminate the need for costly corrective measures. The contractor issues the RFI and it sends them to an architect. The architect has the choice to assign them to a project team member. The project team member, he researches and responds. The architect then records the consultant response and according to the impact of the RFI, he classifies it. If it has no impact, the architect responds to the RFI author. If it has an impact, it's either classified as a change order request or is a potential change order. Either classification, the architect responds to the RFI author, and then the RFI is either closed or there is a, a, res a response RFI. The next topic will be on the different types of RFIs you might encounter. The substitution RFI occurs during the bidding phase and is for a construction modification. An example of this would be to change a design drawing to make the project make more sense. The next type is for clarification or additional information. This is found in the, during the construction phase when something needs more information to complete the construction. The next RFI is the construction deficiency RFI. This is something in the design that just doesn't work, like the soil not being hard enough to put down the subgrade. How do you write an effective RFI? Oftentimes the most effective RFIs require a simple yes or no response. You must put in the effort so others don't have to by attaching any necessary documentation and performing any necessary field work such as taking photographs or dimensions. Also, if you have a possible solution in mind, propose it. Be clear and concise with what you are trying to say to avoid any kind of misinterpretation and avoid asking a multitude of questions within one single RFI. Be sure to address it to the necessary people to avoid a breakdown in communication and always be sure to post the RFI once it is closed to ensure that the work is completed. For this example, we are going to look at an issue where an architect did not account for the thickness of the structural steel fireproofing for a glass curtain wall system. Therefore, the required thickness currently cannot be achieved to meet a minimum two hour fire rating. The things we want to consider is who should this RFI go to, the type of RFI, uh, the need to focus on providing a question that can be answered by a yes or no, and what drawings or photos we can provide to make the RFI more clear. One of the most commonly used fire resistive materials are cementitious compounds that may be sprayed or thrown on to the structural steel. The advantage to this material is that it is cheap, but it has to have a thick application to meet rating requirements. Intimescent paint has the advantage of being very thin, but it is significantly more expensive than the latter. Here you can see the RFI addressed to the architect stating sheet A0413 details the west roof top window wall system. The current spacing between the glass curtain wall system and structural steel does not provide adequate spacing to achieve a two hour fire rating using standard spray applied fire resistive material or SFRM compound. Due to the inability to shift the curtain wall system, please confirm it is acceptable to use intumescent paint on the two structural steel support columns indicated on the attached drawing. When the architect replied, he simply had to say confirmed or provide an alternate solution. In this case, Alvin has confirmed the RFI and added clarification to the specific type of paint to use. Hopefully by following these steps on how to write more effective RFIs, you will be able to get more accurate and usable responses from your architect in a more timely manner. Thank you.